Hello, and welcome to your tapping on being controlling. This is an interesting topic. We're going to talk about it for a couple seconds before we jump into our tapping. But for those of you who are new here, my name is Laura Mazada. I'm an Akashic therapist and Reiki master and the owner and founder of Emerge Healing and Wellness Incorporated. And when Laura Mazada downloads a tapping and does a tapping on a Sunday, you get Captain America. So that's the best part is that Captain America energy is definitely infusing this one. Um, so who am I? I'm an Akashic therapist and Reiki master, as I said, and I'm really here to assist people, especially spiritual entrepreneurs with ditching indecision and doubt so that they can thrive vitality and integrating our vitality. In addition to our spirituality and our desires and our power is exactly what I'm here for is to assist people with, I can thrive deeply and intimately and exponentially, um, at the same time that I can meet my desires and that they're not mutually exclusive. You don't have to sacrifice one for the other. So today we are going to be diving into a tapping on being controlled controlling. Tapping is something that if you haven't explored it before, you can click a link in the description of this video. Definitely like and subscribe while you're there and hit the notifications bell so that you can receive notifications of other EFT videos that I upload as well as downloads and meditations from the Akashic Records. So that video, when you click on the description, is going to guide you through what tapping is. It's going to, there's also an image that shows you the different tapping points, and then it gives you a brief example of what tapping looks like. So you can pause this video, check it out, and then come back here to complete your tapping on being controlling. So there's a couple different perspectives on this concept. One of them is really from the outside that other people can view you as controlling, even when you are not intending it. Um, and then there's also your aspects of being controlling because you're a human and you're attached to the outcome. So I'm just going to kind of go with this today. And we're going to see what comes forward from the Akash as I tap here. But um, really both of those layers are important ones to talk about because when you're looking at how other people perceive you as controlling, that typically means that you are in a place to expand your awareness of how you are impacting other people. But also it's typically because again, you're not doing it intentionally. You're not doing it maliciously. There's an area of your subconscious mind that you need to excavate more that you need to understand more deeply, because typically that comes from anxiety. It comes from feeling trapped or not really feel, feeling kind of helpless, like not knowing what to do in that situation. Okay. Um, and then when it comes to being controlling for the sake of attachment to outcome, it's like, okay, well, I am micromanaging this situation because I feel like if I don't, I'm not going to get the outcome I desire. And if I don't get the outcome I desire, then what? Okay. So as you can see, both of these concepts come from a space of deep fear. And that's what we're going to start working on and excavating today. And as we break up this energy, it may unleash some anger for you. It may bring up other emotions. And I do have other tappings on the EFT playlist on this YouTube channel on those other topics on anxiety, on anger. So as these emotions come up through this tapping, you can head over to those to continue your tapping and go even deeper to release this, that really the energetic cords and energetic codes that are being held within your subconscious and your energy field. Okay. So enough chatting. Let's get started with this tapping. Put your feet on the floor, take a nice deep breath in and close your eyes. Straighten that spine by tucking your tailbone and tucking your chin, really allowing that life force energy to expand within you. Another deep breath in to the top of your head and pause. And then allow a nice slow release. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply with your eyes closed, tuning into your physical body and your emotional field. And identifying how you feel on a scale of one to 10 in terms of how controlling you feel 10 being the most controlling, one being the least. Keeping in mind that as we come up with this number, it may not be fully accurate. This may just be a reflection of our conscious mind, our ego, and what it desires to be on this scale. It gives us a starting point. It gives us a gauge. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. And we're going to start tapping, so just repeat after me. 
even though I'm being controlling, I completely love and accept myself. Even though others may think I'm controlling, I know that isn't my intention. Even though others may label me as controlling, I do not have to accept this label as my reality. Keep tapping and take a deep breath here. And we're gonna move on to the tapping points. Oh, these people say I'm controlling. I really don't see it and I don't mean to come off that way. What is it that they are really seeing or what I am reflecting? Consciously, I don't have awareness of this. In fact, I think I'm pretty nice and heart-centered and loving and giving. It really hurts my feelings when I receive this from other people. Makes me feel like maybe I'm not seeing something about myself that I need to see. So my first question to ask when this comes into my field is whether this is even mine to carry. Is this just a reflection of the dirt on their screen as they view me? Or is this an activation for me to look within? I guess I can do both. I don't need to own the identity and the label that this person is putting on me. But I also know that everyone's a mirror. And that what presents in my field is meant to come forward at that time. So what is the message that this reflection is carrying for me? Where am I holding on to this attachment to outcome? Where am I gripping on with fear? Because if this doesn't happen, then what? I remind myself that I am infinitely safe and prosperous. That I have the ability to create my reality however I desire. And that that creation and creative energy comes from flow. Flowing with source in the universal energy. Offering my control and my agenda up to God. Trusting deeply in God's vision for me. Stay here and take a deep breath. Knowing that God's vision for me will guide me in the direction my soul intends. And all these ideas and agendas and expectations that I've placed on my human need to be brought to the table of my soul.
to really identify whether they assist me with fulfilling my soul's purpose. Because this life is just not about me. It's about me and my relation to the collective. And how we are all moving forward to expand the vibration of the planet. We are working together. So where can I release my grip and allow some help to come in? From humans or from spiritual beings. I choose to soften and open my field to whatever is meant to arrive. I choose to deeply trust my soul's choice for this incarnation. Take a nice deep breath here. When I connect to my soul, I am infinitely powerful. When I allow God to lead, I know that every step is of service. I know that every trial and tribulation is something that I can tolerate. And something that I will graciously learn from step by step. I know and trust the unfolding of this process. And I fully surrender to it with every cell of my being. And I can taste the freedom and intimacy and abundance that comes right along with it. Put your hands down, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in. Identify how you're feeling on that scale of one to 10. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm, I feel so good after that. That was a good one. I want you to allow yourself to keep going. If that's something that feels aligned for you, if you don't feel complete, allow yourself to keep going. You can do this one again. You can jump over to the other videos on my EFT playlist here on YouTube. So any other emotions that may have been stirred up within you, you can work through and continue to get to deeper and deeper layers. Typically we go through three rounds of tapping before we get to that core, core issue, um, which can lighten over time as you continue to practice. But um, I definitely encourage you to listen to your being and your energy and see how complete you feel and continue if you need more, more shifting, more transformation. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I love you deeply. I honor you deeply for taking this time for yourself, for shifting the vibration of the planet, for allowing yourself to feel a higher level of joy, relief, and pleasure. And I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye.